What's up guys? So today's video is obviously going to be my 2015 favorites video. I sound so stuffy and like disgusting. I'm kind of like coming down from a cold or something. I don't know what it was. I was so sick yesterday. These are things that have just stuck with me all of 2015. Like I just like was looking and I was like, oh my god, I've had this like all year. This is my favorite thing. So I was just going through my stuff and so I'm going to show you guys a few things. So the first stuff I'm going to show you guys is makeup products. This is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and this is just a palette I've used all year. You guys know that because, like, I mentioned it in, like, all of my makeup tutorials all year. And I was going to pick the Tarte Lip Palette because it's one of my new favorites, but because it is newer, I've realized, like, I might not be using it at the end of next year, but this I've definitely been using all year. Like, I at least use, like, two shades of this every single time I do my makeup, so love this. Next product is this Tarte Bronzer, and this is, oh my god, I put my hand in the black eyeshadow <laughs> next it is the Tarte bronzer and this is Park App Princess and again I have used this all year I've probably been using it more than just 2015 I think I used it a little bit before but I love this it is just the perfect bronzing shade I don't know it just goes really really good with my skin color even when I don't have a spray tan I just love this next is a foundation and this is a bit newer but I absolutely love this and I'm probably going to be using it most of 2016 because at the beginning of this year I used like a MAC foundation and I just really really wasn't liking it and since I found this like I seriously don't see myself straying from this at all ever it's the perfect coverage perfect shade for me and I absolutely love it so yeah love this next I've been using this for most of the year as well and this is just the highlighter this is in soft and gentle it is Mac and I absolutely I don't even know like what I can say about this I have it on my cheeks today I have it on my cheeks about every day so I really really love this and it's the perfect like shimmer I also like after I bought this this was the first uh, highlighter I ever bought which shows you know like I've used it for such a long time um, but after I bought this I got more into like the Mac um, skin finishes so I bought like the global not global glow what did I buy oh gold deposit I bought gold deposit and I just love both of these they're so perfect so love this one moving on to mascara I have this one and this is roller lash by benefit and this one is my absolute favorite mascara I actually just tried out a new mascara today and I'm not really liking it that much um, so I know for sure like this is really my favorite I was using the benefit um, what is it called I was using another benefit mascara before this one and I really really liked it but after this one came out I was like wait this one's so much better so I absolutely love this it makes my lashes 20 hundred times longer like I'm just gonna show you guys the brush I know this isn't like a makeup review but oh, it's not even gonna focus I love them and I never really wear false lashes so this really does the trick lastly for makeup this is the Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown so I really was struggling with my eyebrows I was looking at old videos today like makeup videos and I was like what was I doing with my eyebrows like I literally have no idea so ever since I found this this year like this has really really helped because I was kind of scared of a pomade because I was like I don't know what to do with this like sticky weird paste um but ever since I've used it it has really really helped my eyebrows look so much better and yeah I don't know what else I would use other than this so Dang. You know when you have something in your shower and it gets like water in the cap and you open it up and then the water like pours everywhere and you're like, oh, okay, like that's just what happened on my bed and no, I'm sitting in a puddle of water. Anyway, so I'm going to start with this. This is the Garnier Clean, I don't even know, Blackhead Eliminating Scrub and I absolutely love this because it smells super minty and it makes my skin feel like really, really good and it has like exfoliants in it but it's not the exfoliants that are in like the St. Ives scrub which is what I did use actually just right now or it would probably be in this video but um, this one has exfoliant like little beads but it's not really harsh on your skin it's like you can lightly feel them and I really like that and I just feel like this has helped me the most like I apparently like charcoal really really helps with blackheads so this has charcoal in it the next two things have been a part of my daily routine since like I don't even know when they have always always been in my routine and this is the Boshia makeup I don't even know if that's how you say it makeup breakup cool cleansing oil so this is what I use to take my makeup off literally I there's nothing else I found that I really like more than this I really like the way it feels like I can literally see the makeup like coming off on my face so I love that and so I just like put two pumps of this in my hand and then I just bought a new one so it's like in the box um, 
but I just put two pumps of it in my hand and I just wash out my face. And then after I wash that on my face, I use these and these are just Huggies wipes. And you guys are probably like, Keaton, like what are you doing? You guys know if you saw my winter routine that I posted like last year, um, I use these. I've always used Huggy wipes for like two years now. And I just use it to take off like the excess, like anything else extra on my face. Just a really quick thing while I'm on skincare. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me like, how do you keep your skin so clean, whatever. If you guys want to see a actual skincare routine, like me showing you guys everything I do in the morning and at night, that kind of thing, then pause the video right now, go comment in the comments down below and say, I wanna see a skincare routine and I will be doing one very, very soon in 2016 if you guys want to see that. So yeah, now that you have unpaused me, let's move on. You guys know I love candles, like literally there's over like 30 something candles in my room currently and so I'm going to be showing you guys two of my favorite candles the first one is the eucalyptus mint and this one is just like the mintiest little like oh my god it smells so good it smells like the stress relief stuff that's at Bath and Body Works it smells just like that also my sciences are super backed up so that kind of helped <laughs> so I have this one and then the other one I think is just seasonal and it is the radiant red maple I don't know why I love this scent so much. I should have bought like 10 of these because I haven't like used it all up yet and I'm going to really, really soon. But I just really, really love the smell of this but hopefully they have it next year or maybe it's not seasonal. I don't know. But this one smells really good. It smells like kind of like waffles but like, I don't even know. It kind of smells like waffles. It smells like syrup. So. Moving on to two random favorites before I get into some other stuff. The first one is this Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume and it hasn't even, it doesn't even look like I use that much of it only because I don't spray this on myself every day. When I go to school, I don't spray Daisy Marc Jacobs on me. But if I'm like dressing up or going somewhere, I'll spray this and the smell of it, oh my god, guys, it smells so freaking good. I actually had like the summer one in the beginning of this year and that one smelled really really good but I used it all up and then I had this one so they're both really really good. I love uh, Marc Jacobs perfume so this one has been with me all year. The next favorite is my Daniel Wellington watch so I have been showing you guys Daniel Wellington watches all year like obviously if you've seen any of my videos you guys know I love Daniel Wellington watches. This one is like a more tan color. This one goes with a lot more stuff that I have and I'm obsessed with rose gold. Like This year rose gold has been like my favorite thing and this has like the rose gold face on it I just love it so much so if you guys want to go check out Daniel Wellington then I will leave a link to this watch this one like right here um, down below so you guys can go click it and I also have a coupon code for you guys so it is right here and the coupon code expires very very soon so you better go use it I know you guys have lots of money from Christmas and you guys can go buy a Daniel Wellington watch and they're such such nice quality that you guys will absolutely love them so go click the link down below now moving on to music of this year that I have absolutely loved. A lot of the music I'm going to be listing is like more kind of like current music, but that's just because that's what I've been listening to the most and I feel like that's what I've really been like loving the most. If it hasn't stuck with me all year, I probably didn't like it the most. Anyway, moving on. So the first one I want to mention is Alicia Carr. You guys know I absolutely love her. I mentioned her like a long time ago. She's been one of my favorites and her album is really, really good. It's Four Pink Walls. I, I'm looking at like the titles of some of the names, but yeah, um, it's Four Pink Walls. Alicia Carr has been amazing. Also, I have really, really loved Justin Bieber's new album. It is seriously, if you guys don't have it yet, you need to go buy it because it's not just like little fangirls loving his music. His music has really, really expanded a lot and a lot of people are now listening to him and I absolutely love him. I have since like day one. I love him so much. So his new album purpose has been the best. Also going along with that is One Direction's album. I'm so sad they're taking a break because anyone else like so super depressed like praying that they come back. But anyway, their album has been amazing. Another artist that I've been obsessed with this year is Bryson Tiller. You guys know like seriously for the past like three months I've just been like playing Bryson Tiller every single day of my life. Hopefully I'll get to see him in February. He's coming to Houston so I really really want to see that. Selena Gomez new album Revival. I absolutely love it. Not just like Same Old Love and Hands to Myself. Hands to Myself is really really good. I like it a lot but there's other ones on her album that are like just as good. Camouflage is really good and I'm pretty sure it's like about Justin Bieber but it's really really good. Obviously Drake back to back has been like amazing. Uh, what a time to be alive with Drake and Future. Both of those albums like 
killed me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't mention this. Literally my favorite, Big Sean's album, Dark Sky Paradise. That has literally changed my life. Every song in that album just gives me like, oh my god, I just love it so much. Every song. I love Big Sean, if you guys didn't know that. And his new album has been, I say new, it's really not new, but whatever. This year it came out and I have loved every bit of it, every single song. So if you guys haven't heard it, go check it out. And then the last artist that I really, really love is Pia Mia. She's come out with a few singles this year, and I feel like she's really, really going to grow and going into the next year. I'm excited to see what other music she has. So yeah. My last favorite that I want to mention is obviously you guys. You guys have been amazing, and you guys probably don't even like know this, but at this time, like literally this time last year, I had 20,000 subscribers. Literally, not even 20,000. I had I just read it the other day. I had 17,000 subscribers on YouTube this time last year and this year I have 250 something subscribers now and it's absolutely there's a train. There's a train. It's absolutely insane the amount my channel has grown. I've gotten so many opportunities. I went to BeautyCon. There's so many things I've gotten to do this year and I wouldn't be able to do any of that if it weren't for you guys. You guys have seriously given me so many opportunities and you guys always support me. You're always tweeting me on Twitter, commenting on my Instagram pictures. It's just really amazing um, how much you guys care about my channel and that kind of thing. So thank you guys so much for this year and making it amazing. I can't wait till like next year and I watch this video and I see how much I've grown and like how much things have changed i'm just so so excited about that so yeah with all of that like mushy stuff being said i hope you guys like this video actually now that i'm thinking about it this is probably my first video going up in 2016 oh that's so weird to say but hope you guys like this video and again comment down below if you guys want a skincare routine and i will get to it thank you guys so much and i'll see you next week